Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great start of this weekend and welcome to this new video on XRP. Going to do a full technical update for this uh, for this weekend. I'll give you an update altogether on, uh, on XRP. We will not dive too much into Ripple. To my knowledge, there haven't been any, uh, any, new, uh, any new updates on the Ripple SEC case. Uh, if there are any updates, I'll make sure to uh, I'll make sure to update you as soon as possible on that. But um, it doesn't seem like it right now. Everything just seems um, very much like just normal market moves. Uh, we dropped down yesterday, as you can see right here, down towards this support level around 41 and a half and 42 cents. Uh, but especially around 42 cents it was major support. So I think that's uh, one of the main reasons for the bullish momentum that we have experienced in the last night. Uh, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about whether we can actually uh, this morning when I did the analysis, we were actually we were looking more bullish. We were really trying to break above our major resistance. But um, we'll talk about all of that before we talk about that. If you want to receive daily trading signals in my trading signal group, check out the links down in the description. There you'll find instructions on how to join. Uh, we've been very profitable so far. So check that out. Trade results and, and proof is also in the Discord server. All right, now let's uh, go on to XRP. So right now I can actually um, actually want to place the bet that uh, volume is up. It isn't. It's down 12%. <laughs> but all right, yeah, yesterday we, um, or at least during the night at like 5 a.m. for me, 5, 6 a.m., we got quite a lot of bullish momentum. That already started yesterday evening. Then Bitcoin also uh, found some support. Bitcoin is not doing too well right now, but XRP is doing good. But it's also... Uh, what you see a lot in uh, in in the crypto market is that you ha if you have a a massive rally like XRP did, then you also get like second and third rallies. Then just uh, the uh, the um, the bullish volatility, uh, bullish momentum potential is just uh, it's just gone up. But right now for XRP, the the main resistance level I have identified for it is really this level right here between forty five. 46 cents luckily it's between two round numbers uh, but that's also between the 0 0.618 fib and the 0 0.5 uh, fib and it's just a strong key level altogether so it's it's really uh, it's a level that has many resistance uh, many resistance sources in there and the main thing we would want to do with xrp i think is we want to break above at least 45 i don't think we need to break above that whole whole level i think breaking above 45 45 and a half cents is already enough to take a break retest and at least rally back up to 48 cents again. And then from there, I mean, I'm, I'm being conservative because I think there's quite a big chance that if we have the bullish momentum to break above 45 and a half cents, that there's also enough bullish momentum to get up to 51 cents. Um, but I'm being conservative because I, I do not think this is the most likely scenario. I mean, if any news comes out by um, about the Ripple SEC case, then surely we'll do it easily and we'll get even higher. Um, but that's not something I can predict. So right now, to make it easy for you, our main support level is this level, around, let's say, 43.5 cents. What I think is going to happen is that we might find some support there still, uh, but that at some point we will drop down below that. And the moment we have dropped down below that, we will probably um, move back down to that level around uh, 41 cents. And from 41 cents, sure, we could try again to break above 45.5 cents, but the more... Uh, we drop down, the less chance there is to actually break above 45 and a half cents. I think this is the most likely scenario. Now, as I said, there's um, if there's any news about the Ripple SEC case, then we still have a very big chance to break above 45 and a half cents. And it's the weekend. Usually on Sunday, we get quite a lot of volatility from especially Bitcoin. If that's a lot of bullish volatility, um, then we can also still do that, all right? If we're still on top of 43.5 cents by tomorrow and Bitcoin all of a sudden goes up to 29,000, we'll be able to do something like this. First price target, 48 cents again. Um, but altogether, if we, if we take a look at all of the circumstances and the possibilities and the probabilities of those things happening, I still think this is the most likely scenario, but just want you to know that there's really realistic hope out there as well. Uh, so that's my take on, uh, on XRP for today. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.